Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and this is going to be another episode of Practical Applications of Science. And in this video, we're going to be investigating the study Resistance Training Volume Enhances Muscle Hypertrophy but Not Strength in Resistance Trained Men from the journal Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise published in 2018. So in this study, they got 34 resistance trained men and from memory, these subjects had on average four years of resistance training experience, which is a really good population to be investigating resistance training in. So what they did is they took these 34 subjects and they put them through eight weeks of training three times per week. So for three times per week, they performed the following exercises, the flat bench press, military press, wide grip pull down, seated cable row, back squat, leg press, and then a unilateral leg press. So pretty solid compound lifts working the full body. So out of the 34 subjects, they split them up into three groups. So all groups perform the same exercises three times per week for eight weeks. The only difference was the amount of sets of each exercise they performed. So the first group here, they took 11 subjects and they got them to only do one set of each exercise during the session. And this was reported to only take around 13 minutes on average each session to complete. The second group, they got 12 subjects and they told them to do three sets of each exercise per session. So same frequency, same length of time, only difference was performing three sets as opposed to performing one set. And then this last group here, the last 11 subjects, they did five sets of each exercise. So they were the highest volume group. And each of these groups essentially performed all of these exercises in the eight to 12 repetition range. And every set they did was to failure. So what happened? So before and after the training intervention, they measured both the subject's strength and their muscle thickness. So a measure of strength and a me measure of muscle hypertrophy. So if we look here at the group that did one set per exercise in the blue, the group that did three sets per exercise in the orange, and then the group that did five sets per exercise in the green. And what we can see here in terms of strength is all groups improved both their squat 1RM and their bench press 1RM. However, there wasn't any significant difference between the groups. And as we can see here, the group that did one set per exercise actually improved their strength more than the group that did three sets per exercise. However, there was no significant difference. And in terms of the bench press 1RM, the group that performed one set per exercise actually improved their 1RM more than both the other groups. However, again, there was no significant difference between them. In terms of muscle hypertrophy, we can see here that for every single measure they took, so the biceps, the triceps, the rectus femoris, and the vastus lateralis, there is quite clearly a dose response relationship between the amount of volume they performed and how much muscle they grew. So these bars here are representing the change in muscle thickness after the training. So the group that performed one set of each exercise grew a little bit. The group that performed three sets of each exercise grew more. And then the group that performed five sets of each exercise grew the most. And that was for every single muscle they measured. They saw that same relationship. So what does this mean? Essentially, what this is telling us is that muscle hypertrophy and strength should not be trained in the same way. So performing additional sets of resistance training doesn't necessarily induce more strength gains. However, for muscle hypertrophy, there is quite clearly a dose response relationship with how many sets you perform and how much you grow. The more volume you do, the more muscle growth you see. However, this study didn't find an upper limit to how much volume you can do. Nonetheless, it can be quite safely established from this research study that strength may be more reliant on practice and intensity rather than volume, where muscle hypertrophy quite clearly follows a dose response relationship with volume. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.